also um, is a very happy client of Pendo ourselves and with many of our clients using uh, Pendo. Uh, there are three recipes we would like to share with you on how we um, integrate uh, with Pendo, how we at Rivery integrate with Pendo. Uh, and I think you, you would find it useful uh, if you use in Pendo. So the first one is populating metadata in Pendo. Um, second one is getting import notifications from Pendo to your Slack. Uh, things like uh, when guides have been viewed or when polls have been populated, things uh, you uh, want to uh, know of as soon as possible. And uh, the last one is getting data from Pendo into your data warehouse. So in this specific guide, I'm going to show you how to populate metadata in Pendo. Why do you wanna uh, push metadata to Pendo? Uh, Pendo uh, allows you to segment and target users per guides based on um, um, certain characteristic and, and how they use the platform. Uh, so a lot of it, you can send in the uh, in the agent, the JavaScript agent, uh, but there's some information that's usually in your operational systems or maybe in your data warehouse that you wanna also push to uh, Pendo, things like maybe the, the tier or the subscription end date and uh, maybe things like uh, a list that, that are, um, that are uh, product specific, maybe like the target list, which data warehouse is, this account is connected to or which connection list, which are the sources um, that this account is, is, uh, is using and then target based on these uh, uh, fields. So what do you need? Uh, you would need uh, Snowflake or other data warehouse, BigQuery, Redshift, whatever you use. You obviously would need a Reverie account um, and you would need a Pendo API token that you can get just by uh, clicking on the settings, um, integrations, and then get the API key from here. So um, the next thing you want to do is um, go to data mapping and add the custom fields that you want to send to Pendo. So you, you, you add it and you set the type and that's it on the Pendo side. Then in Rivery, the first thing you want to do is create uh, action river. Click on create new river, select action, and then select rest action. This is uh, a way to interface with uh, APIs, rest APIs specifically. Uh, I've created one here for, um, for uh, Pendo. Pendo has an endpoint where you um, you can use this endpoint to push account custom uh, values. They have the same thing for, for visitors, uh, same thing for agent fields, but in this specific example, we're going to update account custom metadata values. Uh, so that's the endpoint we're gonna use. We're gonna use post. Uh, first thing you wanna do is uh, uh, set, uh, take the API token, create a connection um, and paste it in. Next, um, click on variables and add a variable, call it account metadata. This will be basically all the information we want to send into Pendo. And then um, set the headers. And last thing here in request body, put account metadata, the variable you just created. Then create a different type of river, create new river and select logic. Logic river is our orchestration and transformation engine. Um, and there, there'll be three steps, basically. The first step is Pendo metadata mapping. Uh, this is where we build, uh, we, we select, we query the information we want to send to Pendo. The second step is basically constructing uh, the body or the payload we want to send to Pendo. And the last step is actually calling the Pendo um, endpoint using the action river we, we just created. So every step in logic river could be um, SQL or river or action or condition. In this specific case, it's SQL. We select uh, the data warehouse and then kind of like query where we want to pull the data from. 
Um, here in this example, we pull data from from uh, users and accounts and, and, and our billing system and so on. And we the result is, is as we want it. And then in the destination, we select uh, Pendo, you know, what, which table we want to save this data to. And don't worry, we create, River creates the, the table for you. Um, then second step is creating again the, the, the body or the payload you want to send. Uh, again, SQL script in Snowflake, uh, and this is just constructing what the uh, uh, body would look like. So uh, again, this would be like an example. This is what the, the payload we send to Pendo would look like. A key values, um, this is the account. This is all the data we want to send. Again, account, all the data we want to send. And then the last step is just uh, selecting the action river. So select action, select the, um, the action river we created in the previous step, and um, input the variable, um, the account metadata variable that you constructed in the previous step. That's it. Uh, the only thing left to do is schedule how often you want to run it. Do you want to run it uh, daily, hourly, um, and save and run. And we that's it. See you next time.